Hello horror family and welcome back to the channel and welcome to what has been the coldest freaking week in the north portion of the world. It is freaking freezing everywhere. What are we watching today? We are sticking with that theme of it being chilly and it being cold. We are watching 2007's 30 Days of Night starring Josh Hartnett. What do we know about this? From what I understand, there are vampires. Josh Hartnett. <gasps> um, this uh, is about w winter weather. I, I don't know, it was suggested. I wanna go ahead and do a shout out to our subscriber, Cody0557 for this suggestion. If you are a brand new watcher, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, if you are a return watcher, welcome back. I appreciate you guys being here. All right, you guys, let's get into 30 Days of Night. Nice scary foreboding music already. Exciting. Ooh, it's in Alaska. I've never been there. I've always wanted to go. All right, 80 miles of roadless wilderness. All right. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yes, cut off every winter for 30 days of night. So, hence the title. Straight into it. Heck, I love it when they're like, they're like, we don't have time for this whole backstory beforehand. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it's got Ben Foster in it. He was from something that I used to watch on the Disney Channel back <gasps> in the early 90s. All right. It is that cold where it stopped the whole ship. <laughs> oh, Lord. You almost lost your foot in there, sir. Oh, that's gonna be a walk. You're not looking there. You're not looking good there, buddy. Not a, not in the least bit. Crackhead's making a fire again. Could do something like this. Maybe someone got a little upset about Could be out here charges. making fires when it's cold. Pulling some prank. Felt like he smiled at me. Not a bad idea, though. Oh, that's pretty. Such a nice little little sunset, especially because it's going to be their last one. <laughs> last sunset in a month. Always work. Let's go to the sun. You okay, Evan? Yeah. I don't know why, but snow always makes me want to have a snow cone. <laughs> Nobody's gonna see it for a month. It's tradition. Danger of polar bears. Shit. I wonder how uh, his asthma will come into play a little bit later in the movie. Kind of put this off till the last minute, didn't you? You sure you don't want to stay? Me and Jeannie were kind of hoping that you and Evan might rethink this separation. I think I remember Please. her from Amityville yeah. Horror. Gotta make like uh, the one with Ryan Reynolds in it. I think she was in that. I promise I won't live in Oreos and Snapple, right? Mm. Have fun in Seattle. Yeah. I guess people are like, screw the sun not being out. This is too depressing. We are going somewhere else. How could anything happen during these 30 days? I kind of understand that if it was like six months of no sunlight, but 30 days, I'm like, I, that would be depressing, but I could do it. They know something's up. Jeez. baby dog this is two weeks two weeks I straight the baby dog stuff. killing i don't know if i can take this this for generators oh shit you gotta leak there i can't even leak it all over the street it's for true that, somebody's know. gotta come out and clean it up and everything yeah. used to manage truckers i know i know better isn't that why we live out here yeah for a little freedom Happy motor. Still gotta keep order. You still gotta so not get toxins into the ground. Shit gets into your water, poisons the people. Then what's the point of your small town? He lives all alone out there on the South Ridge. A little citation now and then lets him know he's a part of this town. Yeah, Helen. Something bad's happened to John Reese's dog. Some baby dogs we were talking about. could have went through her face. Hey Stella, are you okay? Well, my mom could come down and give you a tow, but you know she don't move too fast. It's like Stella, we broke up, I ain't answering the shit. 
tired of I'm tired Surprise. of having a saver. I uh I need I need a ride to the airport. You're in town and you didn't want to talk. I'm stuck on ransom at 355 and the so airport will close and I'll never get what? Stella's stuck at ransom at 355. She needs a ride to the airport. Can you go get her? Stella John Reese needs me for something, so Billy's gonna come get you. <laughs> Let me know if the day comes when you do want to talk. What's going on there? Thinking that's the that's the breakup scenario. Oh. Who's going? Who going? What's it slice to do this? Every yeah, kennel, exactly. Every dog. Slice yeah. the dogs up. Fight with anyone recently, John? I'll kill them. I'll kill them. Did you fight with anyone here this recently, lady? Long ago. I'll find them. They're stuck here. I promise. The last, the last flight is leaving. It would be a lot easier if you just played, Grandma. Oh, Try your His brother. grandma won't even play. Evan, do you want to play? No, nerd. I don't want to play with you. While you were busy with John Reese, Carter and Wilson called. Had a vandalism problem at the Utilidor. We would call Point Hope and Wayne and see if they're having any troubles. For such a small town, they got a lot of shit going on. She's got a point. Sorry, babe, you missed it. You gotta stay for 30 days. Deal with your breakup. I'm not trapped here for a month. You certainly are. Better start hoofing it. I can't stay here. I, I got bills to put in the mail. My plants will die. It will work out. It was the process of staying in my place. Explain to me and Peggy just what the heck is wrong with you and Evan. I'm not time this century to come Okay, back. so Evan is Josh Hartnett's character. You don't pay attention to me. You don't love me like that. You won't shave his unibrow. Uh, what? Oh, it's gotta be 10 below out here. Oh, shit. Evan? It was 7 here the other day, so I feel you. And I think it was the wind chill was negative 1. Did your wife bring you up a sweater too? Bring the whole tribe up while she's at it? I'll come when they're ready, I guess. Copy on your lock and key, don't you, Wilson? Ripped out the throttle, the rotors, have the fucking helicopter. It's my life. Why would someone rip the hell out of my bird? Now you're just trying to break shit. something what was that oh my god what is that <laughs> oh, several of them there oh god oh the god him i guess their dog snack wore off Whew. no whiskey no rum alcohol's illegal this month Folks have hard enough time in the dark without those. That's why person. I would leave. I would simply leave. Like, I am not being sober. Not in this weather. Not Just for 30 bring days. Me a bowl no. of raw hamburger. I'm gonna get me two ways when I'm here frozen, burnt. That's enough, pal. Is he being weird? Leave the lady be. I need some whiskey and some raw hamburger. Take me outside. He looks like he's a mess. I see why they worked out. Looks like you're spending the next days in the slammer, sir. Oh, she's a little turned on. She's like, mm. Maybe that's me later. When I tell you this man is so fine. When I tell you this man is scrump dilly -icious. Head back to your house. Uh, None of us have to be greedy. Ah, uh, come on. We're right. Rock, paper, scissors. On three. <laughs> Fuck. Got me. Game? I guess we're going to that guy's house, because... <laughs> it's not looking good for you, girl. Ooh, what did you do behind him? Saint him. You don't work at the refinery. You didn't fly in. Somebody that's seen you. And you're definitely not from around here. How'd you get in? Maybe you swam in from that boat. You got a long time to figure this out. Nobody's coming for you for a month. It's pot. It helps her with her cancer. Ooh. Didn't tell you I got a little greenhouse oh. at home. Didn't want you arresting me. Marijuana <laughs> is not a drug. I used to suck dick for coke. I seen them. So sweet, so helpless. Again, 
Yeah. So what is, How about um, you give us some sort of an idea? You give us a little bit of a heads up outside of what's all coming. All the windows. Try to hide. They're coming. Sounds like the guy from uh, Pet Cemetery. All the things coming down the road. <laughs> Who are they? Better have some backup generators. It's gonna be a cold ass month. Stay on the walkie talkie with me until the power's back. Ooh, I bet it's getting colder now. Yes. Uh oh. Not some blood. Oh. He's popsicle. A bloody popsicle. Let's just have dinner, John. Please? The fuck was that? This ain't like the Lost Boys. They ain't, they ain't fucking around. I'm gonna have me a snack too. That cold ain't the weather. That's death approaching. Who do you think they're gonna take first? The girl, the kid, or the old gal? Shut up! They've already taken somebody. Thank you for the best eat. I can have that apart and take the lock. No, you won't. Oh shit. He's gotta go now. Alright, time to talk. Who are you here with? Who are you here Just with? Take the fucking me up. Ew. It's falling out the mouth. Katie's eyes locked in. Don't keep that freaking door open like that. He might try and get his rip his skin off his hand or something. Dude can't feel nothing. He's on meth. I can't sleep. If I don't crack. We got walkie talkies. We'll be fine. You drive, I'm riding shotgun. Stop the fucking truck. Some things are back. What? Get in the fucking truck! Run! What does she see? Oh shit! Some angry vampires. What the hell was that? You're not inside your house. You better get inside your house now. Set fire to shit. So we're gonna take down everybody tonight. This ain't 30 days a night. This is this is one night. That's it. Roll credits. Movie over. Done. They didn't take me. Did they take my I feel so betrayed. Finish me. Nope. I'm gonna let you rot in here. Have a look at me. Did you brought these buggers here? Oh, here they come. They look nice. And it suits and everything. She's like, this is a food buffet. We should have utilized this shit a long time ago. Making me want a grilled cheese and some tomato soup. Maybe a burger. I killed every sled dog in town. Took Aaron and Gabe. I killed my grandmother. <laughs> Well, at least we know who survived. <laughs> Some ruthless ass vampires. Become one of us or become food. That's weird. Shoot him in the head, not the back. Shit. Jake? Saul's brother was alive. Good for him. There's a generator at the utility door. Oh, that's way out on the edge of town. We need some place close to hide. Charlie kills his attic. No ladder. You can't tell it's there. We'll pull down a board to get in, then we'll tack it back. 
Can you imagine when your only hope is to hide in an attic and freeze to death for 30 days? Have you not learned that they can run faster than your truck? You're probably holding on to that bitch in the back. Yep, there you are. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face. Oh, shit! Can't bite you if they don't have a noggin. Not good. Uh, shit! Hopefully, he retracts that citation. Damn, you're not playing around. Dude just did a box jump on a vehicle. No! God, please, no! No! She's like, turn the heat on. It's gonna be real cold in here tonight. If they barely got there without getting chased down, how the hell are them other people gonna get there? They probably went back to them already trying to eat it. Make any noise. Who's up there? Oh, they made it. Yay. Good for them. Hi. Almost got dead. We'll sleep in shifts. We'll ration our food. And then we'll figure out the next step. We have two advantages. We know this town, and we know the cold. We live here for a reason, because nobody else can. Mm -hmm. They came back for him. He's like, Paul, you do love me. I mean, is he like his Renfield? You know, his little human um. assistant? <laughs> what do they believe? Is it that they're vampires? Spit through the heart? Garlic? Crucifixes? We have to move. Why do you suggest we do that? Now, while we have strength. We can stay here until they find us out. And they can kill us all. Or we can run like hell. Yes, but that's okay so long as you still- Fuck up! They're gonna hear you. Hey! Hey! They need a silent battle. Like on that movie, the other guys, where they're just rolling around. They're like, okay. We go to the general store, we get supplies, and then we go to the utility store. Let's head up the grocery store before we make this run. They made it to day seven. All right, we're officially on seven days a night. New movie title. Help! Bitch, Help! you are walking food. You better be quiet. Oh no, that's a trap. That's gotta be a trap. Tracking your ass like hungry dogs. <sighs> Told you. Shit, shit, shit. Oh no. <laughs> that was pimpering on. I said, wait. God's not here right now. That, that was a scene. That was a, that was a badass scene. We will give it that. That was some shit that would have terrified the fuck out of me. Evan. Oh, dude's hiding under her house. It's like, take care of this. Get out of my face. Stressful. How long have you been living? I'm not sure. Where's Ali? Oh, Gally. So I've been plucked out for seven days. Follow. I feel like he's bait too. I don't trust it. Something I'm seems weird. Don't don't you tell him where to go. Oh, that dude's a vampire as well. Yeah. Something seems weird about that. I don't think he could have survived outside for seven days. Oh, we got his teeth. What happened here? His new tophus came in. Oh, you don't be trusting nobody that can live out in the snow for seven days in negative whatever degrees weather. Oh, chop his neck. Chop his noggin off. He's gonna eat you. Just stay back. Stay back. No, don't shoot the gun. Don't shoot the gun. What are we with the others? Ah! You 
friend's not here anymore. I'm trying to save lives. There you go. Cut us out. Or some piece of that guy, too. His asthma. Ah, that's where he came in. I wonder how uh, his asthma will come into play a little bit later in the movie. He said somebody. Obviously, somebody's still out here. No, don't Please. leave. Wilson, just let him go. Come on just now. let him go. We need to get out of here. No, no, I'll die if I stay here. That's what's gonna happen. Maybe if he becomes a vampire, it'll get rid of his dementia. He's gonna, he's gonna make them get caught. I have a feeling old, old Papa's gonna be going through the damn window, getting everybody caught. Who would have thought we'd make it this long, huh? If they only, if they only make it to day 29, or night 29, and then they all die. Shit. I knew he's gonna go out the window. Something told me he was gonna escape. He's my fuck. Wait. You dumb dude. Shit. I said it went to Wainwright. I guess that's their like their dog. Send him out to sniff folks. Sniff folks out. Dad! Who would have thunk it? Alaska snow. Who would have thunk it? Hopefully the snow is like blowing their scent, you know, away. Maybe where the vampires can't pick it up. What if they're all hiding in the store? What if they had the same idea as you? What if they're all in there sleeping? Yes. Oh, he's like, oh. Glory. I promised my wife I wouldn't live on Sometimes this. Sometimes we need to work offices. Shit. We gotta go. No, 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 no. And, oh no, it's a little girl. Oh god, you gotta chop her head off. Chop her head off. I'm done playing with this one. Who's got the axe? Wanna play with me now? Oh, no. There's a little girl back there. She's about to eat us. It's not like my bed moved. Oh my god, what is that? Who? <laughs> well, brother fucked her up. Hopefully, that little hooch didn't make too much noise. Shit. If she didn't scratch him, you know he's gonna be a vampire next. Day 18. All right, we're getting closer. Getting closer. Maybe we can do it. If somebody created a diversion. How? What if we brought this on early? Mom had that operation at home. She used an ultraviolet light to grow this stuff. We can run for her place. Let them follow me. But if it doesn't work, then you're just fucked. That's it. Plain and simple. You're all dead. Whoever hey! hey! else is gonna get us out of this. There's some little lawn power. Well, we didn't like him anyway. <laughs> we didn't. Yes. Oh, this is intense. Oh no, no my chips. There are no bad parts about being a vampire. There's just not. 
Gotta get them all on time first. Though. He said the door's locked. <gasps> Trying to make my bitch ugly. They're gonna cut off the power, so. Well, that worked for a while. Way to go. Maybe you better get to running. It's good to hear your voice. Go away from me. <gasps> uh oh. Run for Rogers Avenue. Toward the trencher. He's gonna save everybody. It's my Aww. turn. How do they figure that one place is gonna protect him, though? Looks like charcoal. <laughs> what can be broken must be broken. Okay. Oh, this guy kills women. There you go. Just take their ass. Ooh, it's a blood I wanted to say at the end. Welcome to Bear Room. Yeah. Welcome to Barrow. He said it. <laughs> That's funny. Now what's his plan? There's still a shit ton of them left. Here we go. Oh, it's the flares. Okay. They brought his ass out. Oh no. He's full of all the wisdom. <laughs> There's chunks on that door. That was gross. Oh no. I knew we got scratched. Oh man. In the store. Just so thirsty now. Couldn't tell you. Had photos. Oh, I've got left with my family. Martha was taking the kids to visit her mom. By a drunk driver. Mm -hmm. I wanted to mm -hmm. be with him so much. I couldn't bring myself to do it. But I know they're waiting for me. Alright, buddy. Like it is self behind the bars and we'll shoot you. That would be the worst punishment ever. That was a powerful scene. I... It's 8 27. We did it, guys. Three more days. Did you see that? It's Billy. Billy. I'm in here. Oh, who's that? It's paying the cross. I heard the screams. I didn't want them to die like the rest. I tried to shoot myself through a fucking gun. Oh, that's hard. I shouldn't have signaled to you. I just couldn't stand being on my own. So I don't ever hurt them. There's blood here. Never. Maybe they tried for the utilidor. Another little kid. His teeth are still normal. Shit. He's been holding on to this little kid. You learned nothing earlier? Did you check his teeth before you. I might shoot the door. Before you carry his ass underneath there? Shit. Billy, you better sacrifice yourself, son. You shouldn't have did that to them kids. Big boy saw him. Whew. I saw the way they punch through cars. Do they not think that they won't punch through this shit here? 
And isn't the whole town coming back at the end of 30 days? Does that mean that the rest of these folks are going to get eight? They're just, these vampires are just going to chill and stay behind? And then just be taking folks out at night like normal? Stella? Yo, Robbins? We don't know. Oh, gotta lead them in there and throw them in. There's some grinding. Mar, mar, Yep. Fucking Billy. Fucking Billy. Just leading them all. Just everybody to slaughter. Stop. This is heaven. Come in. Where are you? Hello? Throw him in the meat grinder. Throw him in the meat grinder. We don't need him in there. Throw him in. House is ass. We're getting that shit in there. Everybody's gonna get infected. Oh. Oh. I've, had a, I've had a rough month. I've had a rough month. How do you come back from this shit? How about we celebrate when sunrise gets here? Josh is like, I remember when I had my first beer. <laughs> Still. I don't trust that little boy. I just, I simply don't. How'd he survive this whole time without getting eight? We're coming to get you. No, we most certainly are not. We're gonna tell her goodbye. There's way too many of them. We have to cut off or they'll hear you. Over. I'll call you back when it's safe. The sun will come out We're watch it tomorrow. Blood in a glass case of emotion. Just let her freeze. Oh no, they're gonna burn the place down. They broke into the pipeline. It's fuck these, fuck these kids. Fuck them. Ain't nobody gonna have a house to come back to. Oh, but if everybody burns up, nobody will know what happened. They'll just think the whole town burned down. Nobody will know what happened. I just Said think it. it was some horrible accident. This building's strong. Can't we just ride it out here? Not cold no more, lady. It's all that matters. Toasty. Toasty. Oh no. What happened? Evan. What's happening? When they're all watching me get on the walkie talkie, oh, no. tell Stella, run for it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Is he about to turn himself into a vampire? Oh, he is. Oh, I have chills. Thanks, little brother. Are you fucking crazy? Oh, God. Blood. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, that sucks. He's one of them. How do we know? You're gonna have to you're gonna have to hide old Josh out in a cave. Save his life. Oh, his eyes don't went black. It's like a shark. Oh yep. You feel on the gut pain. How their teeth change so quick. Time to battle. Two bosses. Gonna fight it out. It's like this is my town. <laughs> Protecting it. Up, run. Oh, oh, he knocked some teeth out. You're whipping my ass here. Come on.
He's like, you haven't learned the ways yet. You don't know how to fight. Finish him. I guess you're the leader now of the pack. <sighs> this better not make me cry. <laughs> Shit. What did you do to yourself? It's big as ass. Should I go after them? Yep. It's almost dawn. We made it. You need a ride. I get real tired of these scary babies trying to make me cry. get real sick of it. Bite her and take her with you. I said that if y'all were really in love, y'all, you would have Okay, I guess they are in love. Gross. Oh. Just like I want to interview a vampire. Shit, I can't do it. It's been a fucked up month. Whew. All right. Once I get these, uh, this, these tears dried up, then we'll talk about it. Well, the ending of that definitely got me. That was intense. That was, that had some beautiful scenes in it. Like the scene of of the guy being honest with them and, and talking to them about how his fa all of his family was dead and how he wanted to be dead too. Um, what was it? Billy. Billy t killing his family because he didn't want them to become like those other, th th like the vampires and the fact that Josh injected himself there at the end. And, and let's not look, forget about Billy losing his head. So that was uh, exceptional. It definitely still made me feel cold. That was some, that was a good break from what I've been watching, which it felt very action packed. So it really did keep my attention. Um, but it, it was, it was, it was a very good movie. It was, a, uh, it was a lot at the end. It hurt, it hurt my soul at the end. It, it just purely gave me that whole feeling, the same feeling that I had when I watched Interview with a Vampire when I was a little girl. And how watching them burn un underneath the uh, the sun, yeah, oh, yeah, it was a great movie. If you have lasted with me this long, I appreciate you guys being here. Please drop down below, tell me what uh, f your favorite vampire movie is. Mine, of course, will always be Interview with a Vampire, but we're gonna add this one to the mix. Uh, movie suggestions, I definitely appreciate those. I am writing them down, and as I watch the ones that are suggested, if they are very unique, I will definitely call out the person that suggested it and tell them hello. So drop in those comments below. Love them. Love reading them. I always respond. I'm still a very small channel. I am still growing, and I appreciate everyone that comments, uh, good or bad, helps the algorithm. So, all right, you guys, I hope you're staying warm. If you're watching this when this comes out, if not, have a lovely day.